Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about fall trends. So these are the trends that I've had my eye on on the runway and I made sure to show it to you in a way that you can actually wear it to work, to see your friends, to get drinks, to go on a date, I don't know, sit at home with a book, I don't know. This is weird times we live in right now. Huh? The first trend is the oversized trend. I look at oversized as the time when you're raiding your partner's closet. So this is a perfect time of the year to get in there, grab some jackets you like, grab some button down, some sweaters, and style it up. And you'll see that I already went to Gary's closet and pulled some of my favorite pieces. With oversized, we're really going for that effortless chic look of course you don't want everything to be oversized so make sure that you pick one item at a time to be your kind of hero oversized item and i'm going to show you three different ways to style so these are thrifted pants i found obviously men's but i have to say i love this like dropped crotch i was considering altering them but i feel like i'm gonna keep them this way i wanted to create kind of a monochromatic tone and this is a color that will be very easily matched with other items i just styled it with these white comfortable sneakers i put some chains on so when you do wear a monochromatic look especially in the colder months you kind of have to accessorize to make it kind of look interesting and have a vibe to it so an easy way to do it is uh, layer up some jewelry as you can see i chose gold gold really works well with these colors and then also a really easy way is to put some eyewear on wanted to say a huge thank you to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this portion of the video these glasses i've been wearing for years glassesusa.com is a really awesome website like a destination for anything eyewear so it's 100 percent money guarantee you have a warranty for a year free shipping and returns so if you guys are into adding a little bit of accessorizing on your face this is the way to go here is an example for you how if you change your frames on your eyewear it can take you to a whole other look so with glasses usa you can put any prescription on the eyewear they also offer blue light blocking lenses so if you are worried about the blue light that's coming out of your devices this is a great one to use one of the things that i love doing when i wear a all monochromatic look is to add a pop of color so green and yellow is my go-to here is a little pop of color to bring a little dimension to this outfit okay the second item for the oversized trend that you'll be seeing in the fall is this jacket i feel like that's one i've been seeing a lot it's also one that people are really excited to wear because i have to say it's so comfortable this is just one that you can throw over anything i wanted to show you a little bit of a more casual everyday look for school or if you're running around for errands i chose this coming soon leia sweat pant look because this is definitely my go-to for every day paired it with just my white sneakers you also have glasses i wanted to show you darker frames with glassesusa.com which is this is another pair from them you can get frames and the lenses starting at 30 dollars, which is amazing and then i'll show you another frame it's my little harry potter situation i love these these are so cute this is a much more delicate kind of frame it's round and if you are worried or want to experiment with just different styles when it comes to eyeglasses they actually have an amazing feature that is basically a virtual try on using their virtual mirror tool on the website you can just take a selfie and then you can try on any pair of glasses that you're interested in and have an idea how it's going to end up looking at you this is kind of a style of frames that i wouldn't go for usually but i did want to kind of experiment with a different style and trying it on the virtual mirror help with making the decision of purchasing these all the glasses that i showed you i'm gonna put in my description box with links to glassesusa.com thank you 
so this is actually an oversized blouse obviously you can tuck it in and then it's basically like any other blouse but I also kind of like more of that free spirited situation this is a top from Zara and it actually has like really cool flowing pants with them but you can wear it again mix and match it with different colors this could totally be an option for drinks for girls night out something kind of more comfortable and fun I paired it with some um, jewelry here and um, I would probably do like kind of a little more pop of a lip and that's it the second trend that I absolutely absolutely love and I have to say this is a new one for me because I'm not the girl that wears the leather but now that I'm 30 I feel like I'm warming up to it I've been seeing so much colored leather or just leather in general. This is vegan leather. So if you're shopping consciously, um, you have quite a bit of options these days. These pants are an example. I wanted to put together kind of a more office look for you guys, but still something with a little pop of color. Like I mentioned on the runway, I saw a lot of like red leather, like pink leather, uh, baby blue. So I've been really attracted to these type of colors. And I think it's such a fun way to play with fashion in the colder months so I paired these green pants from Aritzia with just brown booties because brown and dark green look really good together I paired it with eyewear like I mentioned great kind of more professional look for the fall winter time the next item is this skirt. This is also a say I have to say they've been a pretty good go-to for fall items. This is also vegan leather and I actually wanted to style it in a more casual way. I feel like when you think about like a really narrow pencil skirt, you really think about like heels and maybe a button down and something more official and very like important lady. But I wanted to bring something that's just a little more wearable. It has a lot of space to move. There's a slit so you're not too restrained restricted and I paired it with this jumper with this crew neck I put it with a pair of sneakers to make sure that I'm super comfortable layered jewelry on to create a little bit of bling and warmth and um, other kind of gold accessories and that's it last but not least for our leather fever trend is this structured jacket I absolutely love the way it's made I love that there's this strong shoulder and then it's a little bit more narrow in the waist and then it flares out and then there's this vegan leather Bermuda shorts I feel like these you can wear in multiple different ways I wanted to put these with strappy heels again the focus is really to create this minimal cohesive look I layered some jewelry I put diamond necklace on put mixed metals with some gold and some white and uh, that's it the next trend is I wanted to kind of mix the Pantone colors that I've seen on the runway but also a really fun combinations of them together we have fancy colors like almond oil it's a thing it's not white this season you're not wearing white you're wearing almond oil so almond oil is actually a really strong color for this season it's not like bone white it's not white it's not beige it's kind of in between i paired it with this cardigan and this kind of top that is really really comfortable really cozy this is in that kind of foresty green color it works really well together and then i also paired it with my loafers these are kind of eggplantish burgundy color just wanted to bring something different and not necessarily a white sneaker but you can totally also make this work with a white sneaker this combination just feels very like luxurious in a very effortless way and then i would pair it with this bag that has kind of the same feel like the shoes and there we have it so I wanted to show you this uh, shade because I loved it when I saw it. This is kind of like a cinnamon brown. I feel like I also put it on my eye actually. Wow, look at this. I didn't expect that matchy matchy. I paired it with this Everlane button down in this navy blue. These colors work so, so well together. I didn't want to add anything else to this. So I put it with my nude heels and I actually found the same type of color blazer in Gary's closet. So I'm going 
gonna show you how I'm gonna layer it because for me I'm considering the fact that okay maybe you are you're going out and you just want to be a little bit more warm I think that it actually works so well because like I mentioned the oversized trend is huge now so grabbing your husband's or boyfriend's or father's or brother's uh, blazers and shirts and sweaters totally gonna look good and then I'm going to add my little clutch here and then Ta-da, you have it. <sighs> well, these heels are not for 30 year old Valeria anymore. I've probably seen it unanimous across most designers. 60s and 70s are so in. We're talking about high-waisted flare bottoms. We're talking about suede. We're talking about really fun colors. A lot of browns, a lot of kind of brassy colors. It's such a fun, interesting way to bring back that vintage vibes into our wardrobe. And again, beautiful trend to go and thrift because it's out there everywhere the colors, the materials, I'm all for it. So my first outfit is this really pretty modest dress that I found. This style I feel like is just more accessible and a trend that a lot of different people can use. So if you are not comfortable with, you know, anything too showy, it's just a really pretty way to get dressed, honestly, and you still feel really chic. The colors here, as you can see, are kind of those like deeper greens. We have pinks, we have nudes, we have browns. The one shade that is very, very known in the 70s was kind of the brownish color so just you know putting your little hoops and an accessory and you are a throwback goddess the next 70s inspired look is this, as I mentioned, browns are really happening here. This is a cashmere shirt from Everlane. I really wanted to show you like a basic outfit, but just to show you the fit that you'll be seeing everywhere. I personally really, really love the cut of these jeans. These are really the classic 70s, and I just love how it accentuates the waist, and then you have these flares in the bottom. This is definitely a vibe you'll be seeing a lot. I actually got also a few trousers in my closet with the same fit. I paired it with these loafers just to give it a little more vintagey vibes. I feel like with maybe round or square sunglasses. Yes! Then we have this look that's a little more of a homage to the 60s. Think about like the Beatles groupie. So we have this A-line skirt that's just really pretty. I decided to go for more like softer colors to keep it more modern. I got this cashmere sweater and then these boots that are suede. I feel like suede is also one of those textures that really represent that era. If you want 60s, 70s, Think about like suede pants, suede jackets. It was such a vibe back then. Also, I feel like the heel is very much what people were wearing back then. It's also so comfortable, so I really hope it's gonna come back. But definitely something I've been seeing a lot, a lot on the runway and just wanted to show you a more modern and wearable option for today, for us, yay! You see, fall doesn't feel like such a bad thing now. We got options, guys. Can't wait for you guys to rock these new trends. I hope you enjoy them.